super chat me bitches. No, I'm just testing if the uh, sound's working here. Super chat me bitches. Alright, that's, yeah, that's good. Alrighty, so going through the, uh, the sales on PSN at the moment. Happened across this game, Case Files, The Death of Paulette Williams. Um, it's an FMV game to some extent. Um, I don't think it's like a true FMV game. There's probably some gameplay mixed in with it, like Night Trap or something like that. You'll get like sequences of FMV. Um, but still, one that I didn't even really know about. So cool that it's here. I pretty much buy all these games unless it's really not up my alley at all. Uh, but I think I've played probably 80% of them, streamed 80% of them. So. Let's have a look in settings. Yeah, it's going to be pretty bare bones. Not much to do. Subtitles are disabled. Maybe we'll need them on, just with uh, making a decision. I think it's just pretty much who we're going to blame for the murder. Alright. New game. Deletes previous thing. Well, I haven't played it before. That's just like a blanket warning. Camera A, camera B, real-time recording, February 19th, 2022. All right, the video feed should be up and running, so if you can see me and hear me, then everything is working as it should. Now, I just want to take a quick moment just to go over the setup that you got there. Uh, I want to make sure everything's working properly. That's cool. Make sure you can feel choose. comfortable uh, with everything before we get the suspects in. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, what you're looking at now, this is the real time video feed. And you've got mm -hmm. the controls right in front of you that mm -hmm. you can use to toggle back and forth between the two different camera angles. Nice. Now, this whole system is all touch screen. So all you got to do is just, you know, touch whichever feed you want. And that's the one that's going to be displayed. So why don't you go ahead, take a quick sec and just, you know, toggle back and forth, make sure everything's working properly. Yeah. All right. Now, as long as this video feed is running, it's also being recorded and in fact, it's actually recording right now in case you want to revisit any of this information later. Now, as soon as the recording stops, that's when it becomes available for you um, on the playback monitor that you also have in there. Now, this is where I'm counting on you, okay? This is where I really need you to utilize that playback monitor and carefully analyze these suspects, all right? See if there's anything, and I mean anything, that you happen to catch that I'm going to miss while I'm in here, okay? That's where I'm counting on you. All right, now the video files that are gonna be on that playback monitor, you have full control over, but you gotta be aware that those files will not be available to you until we're done with each session and the recording stops, all right? So that covers all the, the tech stuff. Now, the case, all right, let's do a quick recap on the case here. So uh, Samantha Williams, age 31, found her mom, Paulette Williams, age 62, dead in her bed after being on in-home hospice care for about two months, okay? Nothing out of the ordinary there, seeing as though Paulette was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Now, part of the um, hospice care was for Paulette to receive these 30 milligram Oxycontin pills. Now, the problem is that the uh, medical examiner noted extremely high levels of Oxycontin in Paulette's system, okay? These levels far exceed the 30 milligrams. Now, to top it off, so the, it was the, uh, the nurse hospice who did worker, it. a guy named Michael Schaefer, he noted that there were missing pills when he went to do his final count. All right, there was actually five missing pills of Oxycontin to be exact. Now, it's important to note that uh, Samantha and her husband, a guy named Elliot Jordan, who's age 34, um, they're the sole caretakers, right? So they're the only ones that are able to administer Paulette's uh, Oxycontin on a regular basis. Now, mm -hmm. I did have a chance to talk with both of them uh, about a week or so ago, um, and things just aren't adding up, okay? They just aren't. Now, fortunately, they are being very cooperative, okay? Which is why they've agreed to come down here today and do the second interview with me. Now, since I spoke with them, um, I was able to subpoena uh, some documents and some records to hopefully, you know, shed light and just uh, get a little insight as to what actually is going on here. And I actually did uncover a few things. Um, so I learned that Samantha has um, a lot of debt, all right, a pretty significant amount. Most of it's student loans, but it's pretty significant nonetheless. Um, I learned that her mom, uh, Paulette, has a life insurance policy for $250,000 that is payable to her only child, Samantha. Uh, and I learned that Samantha booked a one-way ticket to Costa Rica uh, for July. That of could be all year. circumstantial. Right, now, given Very, all of that, uh, I think it's safe to say that foul play evidence. is absolutely a possibility here.
All of right. course. Now, obviously, I'm going to be the physical presence in the room, but I'm going to rely on you, all right, like a lot, okay, because you're going to be my eye in the sky, all right? You have a far better vantage point than I do, okay? So I'll field all the questions in here, but I'm absolutely going to follow your lead, all right? So I need mm -hmm. you to use everything that you got in that room to your advantage, okay? Because we have one goal. That's it, right? Solve this case. That's our goal, all right? Um, that's it. That's all I got. So I'm going to bring Samantha in here first. Uh, and we'll get the video feed back up and running in just a sec. All right. All right. Are we supposed to hit the triangle here? Okay. Fish Camp County Police Report case number 09453722 investigating Detective Mark Tim. Okay. Ruse. Samantha, hey. we are recording. Uh, today is Saturday, February 19th of 2022. I am Detective Martin Ruiz, badge number 7621. Genuinely and worried. Is, Samantha is there a pause Williams. button? Uh, Samantha, I'm going to ask that you please spell your first and last name for me. Um, Samantha, S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A, -A -A Williams, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. Thank you. Uh, and now I do need you to acknowledge that this statement is being video and audio recorded and that you do consent to that recording. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I know we had a chance to go over your rights in the waiting room, but I do want to remind you that those rights do remain at all times today, okay? Um, and I'm also, you are by no means obligated to make this, uh, this statement, right? You understand that? Uh, yeah, I do understand, yeah. Um, the last thing is I know um, we spoke all right, about a week or so ago, um, so I'm probably going to ask you some very similar questions. Um, if I do, just please go ahead and, and answer those, but this time for the record, okay? Okay. All right. So, Samantha, let's, um, let's just start with you telling me what happened. Um, okay. Uh, where do you want me to start? Wherever you'd like. Just tell me whatever you think I should know. Okay. Well, there's not really that much to tell. Um, my mom was on hospice care for quite some time, as you know, uh, stage four pancreatic cancer. And, uh, I woke up one morning and, uh, found her dead. Um, it wasn't really a shock or anything, you know, we were expecting it, but, um, we just didn't really know when it was going to happen. And Samantha, you're a substitute teacher, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, straight away, she's I'm a freak. I'm working on my teaching credentials. No, I'm just joking. So I'm assuming that's the reason that you were up so early that morning? Mm hmm Yeah, I usually get up about six. About six? Gotcha, okay. You can continue. Um, well, I, I woke up. I was doing my morning routine. I took a shower, went to make breakfast. Then I was going to go give my mom her morning pill and... Okay, hold, hold, hold. Um, so around what time was it that you were giving her this morning pill? Um, 6.45. 6.45, okay. And then, um, yeah, what did you do after that? Well, I went in to wake up Elliot and uh, we called the hospice nurse. So see, this is where I'm lost. I don't understand. Why did you call the hospice nurse? Why didn't you guys call 911? Um, well, that, that was our protocol. Uh, we have got over it quite a few times with our care team, and um, that was just what we were supposed to do. That doesn't seem too weird. No, um, the care team, uh, that's, uh, that's Michael Schaefer, right? He's I'm kind of believing her. Like, that care team. I don't think she's guilty. Yeah, I called Michael, and he was there actually within about an hour. Not at this stage. There were all these other people that came in um, to clean up everything else. Clean up the body. Elliot and I, we just... Oh, that could have been a tell there, to clean up the body. And, uh, just not my mother, record, not mom. Right? Ah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I know it's confusing because we don't share the same last name. That might have been the tell. And how long have the two of you been married? Um, just under two years. Just under two years. All right. Um, so why don't, you, why don't you tell me about the days leading up to all this? Okay. Uh, how far back? Why don't you go uh, go back to Monday, February 7th, since that'll put us about two days prior to your mom's death. Monday. 
Monday uh, was pretty typical. Um, I got up. I did my morning routine. I went Just to work. repeated that. Uh, I went to the gym and the grocery store, and then I was home about 7.30. Um, <laughs> Elliot actually had already ordered Thai food, so uh, we had Thai food and then sat and watched TV for the rest of the evening. I went to bed about 10.30. 10. 10. Now, did you, um, did you give your mom a, a dose of Oxycontin that morning? Um, yeah, I do the morning and Elliot does the evening. So it's just the, the two pills every day? Yeah, about 12 hours apart, approximately. Hmm. Sometimes there's a breakthrough dose if she's really having like a lot of discomfort. Maybe I should be looking at her foot. part of the routine. Is she tapping her foot? Now, face? I did, um, did have a chance to, to speak to Michael, right, the, the hospice nurse. Um, are you aware that he had visited that morning? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael comes every Monday. I, I, I'm normally not there. I'm usually at work, so Elliot's the one that lets him in. So, seeing as though you weren't there, then it's safe to say that you, you really don't have any idea, like, what could have happened during his visit, right? No. no but, but I mean, I, I don't think that it would be anything different than a regular visit. Why? Did Michael say something happened that day? No, no, not at all. Um, no, yeah, what I did I curious, say? That's all. So Tuesday, um, Tuesday, February 8th, how'd that day go for you? Um, honestly, about, about the same. Um, minus, I guess, the gym and the grocery store. I, uh, I was pretty tired, so I went home right after work. Elliot and I just had some leftover Thai food, watched TV for the rest of the evening. Online video games. And I went to bed, just like I always do. And um, that would have been around like 10, 10-ish, 10 right? Like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, give or take 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to assume that Elliot <clears throat> um, also, that same day, gave her um, her evening dose of Oxycontin, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so... So seeing as though you didn't give your mom um, a pill the morning of her death, right, then it's safe to say that Elliot, right, he would have been the last person to give your mom Oxycontin. Is that correct? Uh, right? Like nobody else could have given her a pill, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Hmm. Any breakthrough doses that day? That was a really exaggerated look. Uh, what no. was that about? Guilty. No, not that I remember, no. Now, Samantha, these these five missing pills. Do you have any idea how these five pills could have gone missing? She was partying that last weekend. Well, you are at least aware, right, that, that these five pills have gone missing. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what Michael said, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that's part of the reason why you brought us down here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a big part of the reason. Samantha, I, I can't seem to understand how five 30 milligram Oxycontin pills could have gone missing. I have a shot every time they mention pills. Honestly, I, I can't tell you. I, I don't know. You don't know? Is there anyone else in the house apart from you two? All right, Samantha, is there, is there anything else that you think I should be aware of? Anything that you need to tell me? Her feet have been pulled back together no, more. Not really, no. Reserved. But can I ask um, you a question? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Of course. I'm trying to find things in her body behavior. Something? Body language. Samantha, foul play is absolutely a possibility here, yes. Chicken play? Right, that, that's why I'm here. My job is to try to figure out what happened. Bucka, motherfucker. Okay, but as long as you're honest with me, then we're good. Her foot's back out. Right? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, good. So, look, there's just one last thing um, that I want to clear up with you, okay? Um, first, 
uh, I need you to verify you you still have some student loan debt. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, looking down. I do. That shame. And um, it's a pretty large amount that you owe, right? About a hundred and five thousand, yeah. A hundred and five thousand? Wow. That's um that's a pretty significant amount of money. Yeah. Now, prior to your mom's death, did you know that she had a life insurance policy for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that's payable directly to you, her only child? I, I did. I just I mean, I didn't know about it until she got ill. So prior to all this, you had no idea that she had this, this life insurance policy? I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she had something. I assumed she had something. But I didn't know any of the details of it, the amount, nothing. All right, what can you, what can you tell me about Costa Rica? Costa Rica? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Costa Rica. You're probably referring to the plane ticket that I bought. Yeah, that's correct. What's that all about? Wow. Uh, Try to look guilty. There's just been so much going on. Um, I've been really stressed out with, and I I was just uh, planning a little vacation. Um, a little for, vacation. Once school was out. So that's why you bought the, the ticket for July? Yeah. Now, um, see the problem is you, you bought a one-way ticket, Samantha, right? So were you, were you never planning on coming back? No, 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 um, no. What the hell's going it was on? A, it just a cheap fare that I found. Um, there's this app that tracks your purchases for you, um, but it only deals in one-way fare tickets. It's for plane travel. Um, so I saw that Get her eyes ticket closed. and I bought that flight that. and I just was waiting for the right return flight. I just hadn't found it yet. What about Elliot? Two of you aren't going to go together? Um, no. Uh, we weren't sure if my mom would still need care at the time. This was gonna leave Samantha, you, him there. you didn't think to mention this, this early? <clears throat> I mean, this, this seems like a huge oversight, don't you think? Um, I didn't see what it had to do with anything. It's just a vacation. Just the vacation. <laughs> He's grilling her. Samantha, are you okay? Um, you don't have to bring any of this up to Elliot, do you? Possibly, yeah. Was she cheating on him or? Okay. Unless she wanted to get away from him. Samantha, are you, are you sure there, there isn't something that you need to tell me? <laughs> Straight out uh, accuser. No. No. Okay. All right, Samantha, let's, um, let's give you a break. Okay, we'll get your husband in here, okay? All right. Okay. So do I get time to review the shit? <laughs> okay, Elliot, we are recording. Um, I do want Hands to in the remind pockets. you that the rights that we went over in the waiting room, they do apply at all times. Too. In a wheelchair? Cool. All right. Um, okay, so uh, today is uh, Saturday, February 19th of 2022. I am Detective Martin Ruiz, badge number 7621. And uh, with me here is Elliot Jordan. Um, Elliot, can you do me a favor and please spell your first and last name? 
First name E-L-L-I-O-T, last name J-O-R-D-A-N. Thank you. Uh, I do ask that you please acknowledge that this uh, statement is being video and audio recorded and that you are consenting to that recording, is that correct? Sure, that's correct, yeah. Okay. And um, lastly, I do want you to be aware that you do not um, have to make this statement. You're not this obligated. jacket's moving on its own. Uh, understand <laughs> Understood. Okay. So, Elliot, um, yeah, I, I, I do want to get your take on things, so why don't you uh, just tell me what happened? Um, I mean, there's not much to tell. Paula was on hospice, and uh, she was expected to pass away. And that's... Uh, wow. That's <laughs> um, I mean, there's really not much to say. It's just an unfortunate situation. All right, well, let's see if we can... It's very um, bizarre. You know, maybe, maybe explore a little more here. Um, why don't you tell me what Check happened this guy on uh, Monday, February 7th? Um... There was nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I woke up around 11 a.m. that morning. <clears throat> Our, uh, Ooh, I think that's a lie. Michael, he gets to the house on Mondays at noon. Um, let him in. When he He's looking house, right. And, um, he tended to Paulette while I took a video call from a client. Um, he left later that afternoon. That's the creative and, side uh, of your brain. Continued to work. Clearly he's lying. You're a sound engineer, is that right? Yes. Okay, and you work from home. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, you can uh, you can continue. Um, so after I wrapped for the day, um, I ordered some Thai food. That's um, true. I hadn't eaten all day. I was starving, so I didn't wait for Sam to get home. But uh, she got to the house pretty soon after I finished eating, and uh, we watched some TV. Um, That's she a lie. went to bed. And then after she went to sleep, I hopped on video games online and played until about 2 a.m., something like that, and then went to sleep. Um, do, you, uh, do you normally go to bed that late? Yeah, usually later, honestly. Um, I have trouble sleeping, so I just kind of stay up until I'm drained. Hmm, so um, I'm going to assume, right, you... Uh, you gave Paulette her uh, her dose of Oxycontin that evening. Does that sound right? Yeah, I gave her a dose um, around seven. Um, that's routine for us. So, so based on this routine, you obviously gave her um, you gave her a pill of Oxycontin that that night, right, February seventh. Um, I'm going to assume that you also gave her um, a dose on uh, Tuesday, February eighth. That night, does that sound accurate? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, so um, what about Tuesday? Anything out of the ordinary on Tuesday? No. Um, I worked on the track for most of the day for a client. Um, and uh, Sam got home around 5. We uh, ate leftovers from the night before and watched TV again. And then after she went to sleep, I hopped online, played video games, and did that the rest of the night. And that's it? That's it. Well, he'd have a record right. of being on um, there, but I mean, so, unless so he was live streaming. So that you're saying, um, then you would have been uh, the last person to give Paulette a dose of uh, Oxycontin, right, prior to her death? Uh, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Okay. Uh, did either you or Samantha give, uh, give her any breakthrough doses on that day? No. Are you sure? I mean, as far as I'm aware, no. Okay, so I don't believe him. Okay, so let's let's assume that everything that you're but he's saying covering is for her, accurate. maybe. Um, can you explain to me how uh, five thirty milligram oxycotton pills could have gone missing? Um, the only thing I've thought about is that maybe the pharmacy messed up. Happens from time to time, right? Um. I mean, yeah, it happens. Um, you know, it's extremely rare, but sure. Um, but but see, even even if that were the case, right? That that still doesn't explain. Yeah. How Paulet overdosed. So she, it seems like she clearly took the pills. The. I, I guess not. So Elliot, right? My my job is to figure out how Paulet overdosed. 
Okay, that's my job. So, um, with that in mind, hey, it's our job too, is buddy. Is there anything that you need to tell me? Anything that I should be aware of? Mm, can't think of anything else. I think we've covered everything. Okay, you sure? Yeah, I can't think of anything else. All right, um, we'll take a we'll take a short break, okay? I think they're playing opposites here. I think he's kind of looked at as the obvious suspect when, in fact, he's probably covering for her at a lesser evil. I think she might be the one. She seems more cold. Then again, he lied about a lot of shit, that guy. What do we do here? Oh, fuck. Well, I don't know about you, but it feels like both of them are hiding something. Mm -hmm. Samantha definitely feels off, and Elliot seems a bit too nonchalant for my taste. I'm going to bring Samantha back in here in just a sec. I want to see if I can pry some more information out of her. Can I have some her. coffee? But look, before we do that, we really need to think about how we want to approach this. I think that if I put some pressure on her, she'll crack for sure. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I'm conflicted. Part of me also feels that I should keep playing nice. I don't know, maybe a, a calm approach may get her to trust me and open up more. Yeah. But then again, if this is all an act, she might see right through that bullshit and use it in her favor. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. It's hard to get an exact read on her. Yeah. Why don't you do some reviewing? See if anything helps guide how we should move forward. Maybe you can get a better take on things. And listen, take all the time you want, okay? I don't care if these two are here all day and night. When you're ready, you give me a call and you let me know how you want to play this. I'll maybe trust you your should um, let them stew for right, a while. I'll talk to you soon. These are the choices as a homicide detective, I guess. You know, I don't envy their job having to deal with these scumbag people. We've got. I, I didn't even know that I could do this. Like, be calm with Samantha. Okay, so I gotta. Maybe we need to do some more research first. We can go back. All right, the video feed should be up and running. We've seen that. Um, we can make our choice. I guess we can. Can we review the interviews? Excuse me. What's the next video? We can just. Okay, Samantha, we are recording. Uh, today is. Like in fast forward, watch her head sort of down. I mean, I partly believe her body language and her foot retracts. Oh, hang on. What can what you... Was, what, can what, you... what was that? Why did she retract her foot? What did he say? About here. Um, honestly, about, about the same. Um, minus, I guess, the gym and the grocery store. I, uh, I was pretty tired, so I went home right after work. That's a lie. Elliot and I just had some leftover Thai food, watched TV for the rest of the evening, and I went to bed just like I always do. And um, that would have been around like 10, 10 ish, right? Like... Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, give or take 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to assume that Elliot um, also, that same day, gave her um, her evening dose of Oxycontin, is that correct? Okay, so, so seeing as though you didn't give your mom um, a pill the morning of her death, right, then it's safe to say that Elliot, right, he would have been the last person to give your mom Oxycontin, is that correct? Uh, oh, her foot there. Right, like nobody else could have given her a pill, right? She's shaking her uh, foot. Yeah, 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 that's correct. Hmm. Wow, she's lying. Any breakthrough oh, doses that day? She's guilty. Look at that. She's relieving uh, nervousness and tension there. Uh, no. No, not that I remember, no. Now, Samantha, these, these five missing pills, do you have any idea how these five pills could have gone missing? No. No, I don't. Damn. Well, you are well, at least aware, I can't right, that, that these five her. pills have gone missing. Yeah. That's what Michael said, yeah. Mm. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that's part of the reason why you brought us down here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a that's a big part of the reason. Samantha, I, I can't seem to understand how five 30 milligram Oxycontin pills could have gone missing. Honestly, I, I can't tell you. Ooh. I... <laughs> Ooh. Now, do we just play it hard or soft with her? She seems to be sweating. Maybe I can get her to break. And then you got homeboy here. I'm kind of more inclined to believe him. Let's put pressure on her. Let's put pressure on that biatch. Hey. Okay, so you want me to apply some pressure? See if I can make her crack? Yeah. I like that. Not a problem at all. Let me go grab Samantha and uh, we'll get things up and running in just a sec. All right? Bye. Re-up and get that biatch. All right. Let me have some coffee. Yum, 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 yum. Wish it was like Nintendo or something. This is Nintendo uh, while continuation waiting. with Samantha Williams. Uh, the date is still February 19th of 2022. Oh, he's going to make a break uh, here. Samantha, I, I'm going to be very straightforward with you. As it stands right now, everything, and I mean everything, points to you being the person that did this. What do you mean? What do I mean? Samantha, you... You have a lot more debt than just the student loans. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, but everybody has a lot of debt. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm not in debt. Smith, I'm going to run through some numbers, okay? I'm just not you, super um, rich. You feel free to correct me if I get anything wrong. Uh, we established the, the $105,000, right, of student loan debt. Uh, you also have uh, $5,700 that you owe on your car. And you have two credit cards, right? Both of which are maxed out. And uh, that is $15,000 for those two. So uh, did I get those numbers correct? Does that sound accurate? Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Now, um, tell me, uh, what does that work out to in terms of a monthly payment? Right? I don't need the exact number. Just give me a rough idea. Starts with an F-U-C-K-E-D. A lot of repayments. It's a month, maybe. So about thirteen fifty. Okay, I had um, I had fourteen, but we'll go with your number. So thirteen fifty, and you you live with your mom, right? I'm going to assume that you pay her something every month. Is that right? Five fifty. You, you pay her five fifty. Just to help with the groceries and the bills and things, and Elliot contributes about the same. Mm -hmm. And salary, what do you what do you bring in uh, salary wise after taxes every month? Again, I don't need an exact number, just give me an estimate and that'll be totally fine. Twenty one hundred. About twenty one hundred, okay. So so see Samantha, you have nineteen hundred dollars in monthly expenses. Okay? You're only bringing in twenty one hundred dollars a month. Right? That's leaving you with $200 a month, just, just $200 a month to cover things like going out, buying clothes. I mean, that's it. You have only $200 for your disposable income every month. Is that correct? Mm. A lot of people live like that. Yeah. Now see, that's, that's really tight. It is. So see, Samantha, what this, what this shows me this shows me financial motive. Right, you see that, right? Financial motive. Now let's let's switch gears just for a sec, right? With a feet. So earlier, both you and Elliot stated that uh, Elliot, right? He was the last person to give your mom oxycotton prior to her death. Correct. I don't really need correct? to see her face because uh, yeah, I know she's a little that's actress. What I stated. Okay, and and neither you nor Crocodile him. Crocodile tears. Look how much water she's drank too. Shows day, nervousness. Correct? 
Wow, she's a thirsty little girl. Correct. I I did. You did. But Samantha, you, you just stated that Elliot was the last person to give rocks. I mean, you just stated that. I, I am sorry. I I was just confirming what you said that I said earlier. I did actually give her a breakthrough dose that day. Which means now it's Elliot who killed and her. And is there a reason you didn't bring this up earlier? That's what she's been hiding. That's what she's nervous about. Not the fact she killed him, but she's hiding so that. Much going on. For Elliot. Ah, uh, got deeper I there. Honestly, I just overlooked it. I just remembered when I was sitting there in the waiting room. You overlooked it. You, you overlooked giving your mom. A dose of oxycotton, literally the night before she died, you overlooked that? Hmm. She might have fucked up the first night and then gave the sense. idea to the Elliot right, so guy, and then he's gone, let's, yeah, let's yeah, do it. Samantha, that, and he actually yes, did it. The first one might have been an accident. Very hard saying. to believe. You are correct. Hmm. I'm now sorry, I think it's Elliot. It's okay, so... So... You, you were actually the last person to give your mom a dose of Oxycontin prior to her death that Tuesday night. Now, around, around what time did you give her this dose? Eleven p.m. I, uh, he said seven. I was the having time. trouble sleeping, and I woke up. It's very rare for me. Hang on. So she got her normal dose at 7 p.m. And she's claiming she gave her a double down and I dose. And saw that she was having a lot of discomfort, so... And how much, how much did you give her? So, inverted uh, homicide? Well, uh, 10 milligrams. Because it's a bar, isn't it? You gotta break off, it's a 30 and, uh, milligram Elliot, bar, you gotta break off. Did Elliot you give her any breakthrough doses that day, maybe before you got home? And how can you be so sure? I mean, it seems like you've you've left out some very important details today. She's covering, dude. She's not There's guilty. A, a chart on the refrigerator, and um, it just feels like that. Down, and there wasn't anything else given that day. Oh. Did you write your um, your eleven p.m. dose on that chart? Was there a 7 p.m. dose there? Because that's what time he claimed. I don't remember. Okay, so... So no no additional breakthrough doses that day. Um, unless, unless, of course, Elliot, right? Maybe he forgot to? No. Uh, no. No, Elliot's uh, super responsible. He would never forget something like that. Huh. Okay, Samantha, let's, let's lay this, this all out, okay? Um, you, you've got crippling debt, Samantha. Okay, you had a mom who was dying, right? You had, you had this $250,000 life insurance policy. And now, right now, Now it's made evident that you were the last person to give your mom Oxycontin prior to her death, right? You gave her a breakthrough dose on top of the already scheduled 7 p.m. dose that night. I knew you were the press and not be the best off. detective in the world, but surely you can see how this makes a very strong case that you did this. You see that, right? Samantha, you had to have done this. Samantha, you were the last person to give her oxycodone. You just stated that. She pushed them together there to distract him. Samantha, are you, are you really telling me that you had nothing to do with the death of your mom? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I... 
I would never okay. do anything. What about accidentally? Okay, what about mm. accidentally? Maybe, maybe we've been looking at this whole thing the wrong way. Yeah, that could be it. What do you mean? You fucked up and gave her too much. That maybe, maybe you accidentally measured that dosage wrong that night. Right? Think about it. You're you're tired, right? You're stressed, right? You got all of this craziness going on in your life. Let's get the money shot. Samantha, maybe you just weren't thinking straight. <laughs> right? It's genuine. And, and maybe when you went to give her that dose, you measured it incorrectly. What do you think? I don't see Samantha, many tears. You, did this. you know you did. <laughs> okay, look. Even if I this can was do that an too. accident, right? <laughs> the Nothing's fact coming still out. remains that you did this. Yeah. <laughs> so can you, can you at least Sorry, admit, that's schadenfreude. Okay, that maybe, right? Pleasure Just maybe. In one's pain is not good. You accidentally measured that dosage wrong. <laughs> can you at least admit that? I think she's covering me. Samantha. Samantha, listen. <laughs> Listen, it's the I dude's am on idea. your side. Okay, I am on He's your like, side. I know, some, you know that you would never she intentionally was die. What are you your do? mom. I know that. Okay, this, Samantha, this was an accident. Okay, I wonder if this see, game has I any replay you, value you once you find that, out Samantha? what happened. I mean... <laughs> so can, can you at least admit that, that maybe you made a mistake? <laughs> Right? You made a mistake, right? That's that's possible, right, Samantha? Maybe I guess that anything is possible. Okay, now Samantha, listen, I I need I need you to sign I this confession that I've already okay? written. I need a, a simple yes or no. Okay? Now, Samantha, I am trying to help you, okay? I'm trying to help you here. Did you get your DoorDash delivery? Because you said you didn't. Is it possible that you accidentally measured her dosage incorrectly that day? Yes or no? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Yes, okay. Yeah, yes, we got it's her. Yes, possible. As long as we get the conviction. Samantha, listen. listen. We get listen paid and go home. Remember, I am on your side. Right? <laughs> okay. so funny. You and I, right? We both know the tremendous amount of stress that you've been under. We know, right? And, and we both know that it is very possible. Very possible. That you accidentally killed your mom. <laughs> I don't find it very funny. Why are you laughing? Now, Samantha. Samantha, what I need, what I need you to do, right, is I need you to, to tell me the truth, okay? Yeah. Right? What I want to do she is I want to make this easy for you. The right? she knows Samantha, what look, happened. we know this is what happened, right? After all, you were the last person to give her the Oxycontin, okay? So, so please, let's make this easy for you, Oxy okay? Kitten. Tell me the truth. Tell me... That you accidentally <laughs> killed your mom. Right? That's the truth, Samantha. Samantha, make this easy for yourself. Okay? Make this easy for yourself. You tell me the truth, right? And then you can put this whole thing behind you. And then okay? you can go behind bars. You tell me bars. the truth, and I will promise to do everything I can to make sure that you never set foot in prison, okay? But you have to tell me the truth. Oh, I love that. I'll do my best. Uh, no promises. He's at that point now. Got to apply the last bit of pressure. Yes, what, Samantha? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, 
mommy. <laughs> I kill mommy for the money. Guess what? Let's get the money share. Let's kill my mom. <laughs> ching, ching, ching. We get the win. <laughs> Couldn't the like creative department add some sort of tears in between cuts or edits? Or is it because it's one continuous? They could have had something up her sleeve, like a little water thing, and she squirts it in her eye when she puts listen, her wrist to her face. I know that was hard. Face. But what you just did, Sandy, onions, you anything, just made man. this easier for yourself, okay? You vomit? just made this a lot easier for yourself. Look. Now, Samantha... Samantha, there's one, one last thing we need to clear up, okay? Was Elliot an accessory to the fact? Okay, listen. Did he, was he an accomplice? What happened to those five pills? I need to know what happened to those five pills. I don't know. Samantha, you do. I you don't. Do. Yes, you do, Samantha. You do, and I need you to tell me. That you, tell me what happened to those five pills. I swear to you, I don't Samantha, know. Samantha, tell me what happened to those five pills. I'd like a lawyer, please. <laughs> Better call Saul. You don't know. No. I don't know. Okay. 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 What happened to them? Meaning... No, she's just assuming the blame. Like, he pushed her to the point of breaking, but still doesn't mean she did it. Well, that, uh, that went better than expected. Hmm. Now, I'm still having a hard time believing that she really forgot about that 11 p.m. <clears throat> breakthrough dose, though. But I guess we did get a confession, so this may be a done deal. Maybe. Now, I know we still can't account for those five missing pills, but that confession should hold up. But to be honest... There's because of those else. pills, I'm still questioning whether or not this was intentional. Maybe Samantha's smarter than she lets on. Now, if it was intentional, we need to know if Elliot was in on it. Yep, agreed. It seems like the perfect plan that would benefit both of them. Now, he seems pretty well composed, so we really need to think about how we want to move forward with him. I can be aggressive and paint him as an accomplice or even the mastermind behind everything. See how he reacts to those accusations. Yeah. Or... Since he claims to have no idea what happened, I let him speculate on how things went down. I think let that's more the, on his own the terms. play. See where yeah. that takes us. Yeah. Why don't you look things over and let me know what you'd like me to do? Right. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. I think the aggressive approach might not work with him. He'll just clam up. Probably lawyer up. Make a quick decision on this one. Okay. The laid-back approach it is. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let me see if I can get him to speculate. You know, let's see what he has to say. See if, any, see if some stuff line up here or Good. if it's All right. too Give far me a off the Let mark. me go grab him, and uh, we'll get things back up and running. Okay? Okay, bye. Because he obviously hasn't got any idea what she said or what, what condition she's in, what state she's in. So... Huh. Okay, this is a continuation with Elliot Jordan. Uh, the date is still Saturday, February 19th of 2022. So, Elliot, um, you know, I got uh, some new information from Samantha, and um, it turns out that you actually weren't the last person to give Paulette a dose of Oxycontin. Yeah, she just told me in the waiting room. What? Okay, so, they so let she them told you that uh, she pull? gave Paulette a breakthrough dose around 11 o'clock that night. And you, you have no idea about that? I would no. separate them so fast. And why do you think that is? Is that maybe because you were gaming, you think? Probably. Now, what, what about are you the, the chart, right? You guys have a, a chart on your fridge. Did you, did you check the chart? No, I, had, I already gave her medication that night, so there was no reason. Did you check in on her after, after you gave her, thumbs. Uh, her evening dose? When I had uh, given her her evening dose, she seemed fine you know all things considered so no, i didn't check again 
So do you normally not check in on, on Paulette? I mean, you're, you're the one, right, who's, who's up to all hours of the night. I feel like you'd be the best person to check in on her. Uh, I mean, I occasionally do, yeah. But not that night. Tapping the finger. See, Elliot, this is, um, this is where I'm having a problem, okay? Uh, things, things just, they're, they're not adding up. All right, somebody is being dishonest with me. All right. Elliot, let, let's take a look at the things that we do know, okay? Um, we know that Paulette overdosed on Oxycontin, right? That is the official cause of death, okay? Um, we know that there are five Oxycontin pills that are unaccounted for, right? Um, we also know that Paulette, right, she was in, in such poor condition. I mean, heck, you, you know this, right? That, that there's no way she could have taken those pills herself, right? She needed assistance, right? Now, that leaves us with three people that could give Paulette her Oxycontin pills, right? One of them is, is her hospice nurse, Michael Schaefer, okay? The other one is Samantha, right, your wife. And then the third one, Elliot, is you, okay? Now, in regards to Michael, he right, might be a play in this. his last visit was Monday, February 7th, okay? He now, was staying over. based on that date, <laughs> If he was the one that gave Paulette a larger than normal dose, then Paulette would have just died way sooner, right? That's just a medical fact, okay? So that leaves us with you and Samantha. That's it, okay? So, so one of you, or I don't know, maybe both of you, I don't know, okay? Gave Paulette a larger than normal dose that resulted in her death. So what I'm trying to figure out is who did it, okay? And, and was it an accident, okay? Or was it intentional, right? That is where I need your help, Elliot, okay? I need the truth, okay? So can't tell handle me the truth. the truth, Elliot, what happened? I've already told you everything I know for sure, all right? I gave her a dose that night, she seemed He's fine. looking to the right. The next morning she was dead. Well, see, wow. based on that, then, then what you're saying is that Samantha had to have done it. That's not at all what I'm saying. All right, Elliot, let's, let's again go back to what we know. Okay, let's look at what we know. Um, we know that Samantha has a tremendous amount of debt, right? You know that. I'm aware. Okay. Um, and you know, I know that you have no debt. Okay. I did some digging around. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of impressed, right? You have no debt. Is that correct? Pretty much. Okay. Now, lastly, we, we all know, right. That Paulette had that life insurance policy, right? I mean, that, that's enough money to, uh, to pay off all of your wife's debts, right? I mean, that, that puts you two in a, in a pretty good spot, right? At least financially speaking, right? So I want to know, Elliot, did I, did I get all of that right? Yeah, you got all that right. I mean, I don't know if you're considering the pain and suffering that me and Sam have been going through or the fact that she's just lost the most important person in her life. But, you know, yeah, you're right on. Look, Elliot, I'm not trying to sound like a cold person, okay? I'm not, I'm not a cold person, all right? All I'm doing is I'm laying out the facts. Those are facts, all right? Now, I'm not overlooking, okay, the pain and, and suffering that you and, and Samantha are going through. I'm not overlooking that, okay? But at the same time, right, there, there has to be some relief, right? I mean, knowing that, that Paulette no longer has to suffer, I mean, some people might view that as a positive, don't you think? Perhaps. Well, what about you? I mean, do you do you think that um, that Paulette not suffering is a positive for her? You're gonna have to ask Paulette. Well, what about your wife Samantha? Do you think that's a positive for Samantha, knowing that she doesn't have to see her mom suffer anymore? You're gonna have to ask Samantha. Elliot, man, I I need your help. He's very okay, reserved. I need your help with this. All right. I, I believe you, right? When you say that you don't know what happened, I believe you, okay? But something happened, right? Something happened that night. 
right? We've got five missing pills, right? And Paulette has overdosed. All right, so, so if you had to, to speculate, right? If you had to speculate, if you had to put the pieces together yourself, what do you think happened? I don't know. Elliot, look, I don't need a concrete answer. Okay, what I need is your help. All right? Yeah, Just you'd be willing to help. Try happened, to... Okay? Pure speculation, what do you Feel think innocent. happened? Pure speculation. Maybe, and I do mean maybe, Sam messed up. Gave Paulette the wrong amount. I don't know. So, so you think this was an accident? Look, we've been under a tremendous amount of stress, all right? Especially Sam. And if, you know, I'm throwing out hypotheticals here, then sure, she made some kind of mistake. It's the only logical explanation for me. So, so you think that, um, that that's it? You think that, uh, that Samantha just, um, just made a simple human error, right? That, that unfortunately, um, resulted in, in the death of her mom, that's what you think? No. I am speculating because I'm being forced to do so. Well, Elliot, that is, um, that is a very interesting speculation. Um, you know, I, I'm curious, did, did Samantha tell you that she confessed? You know, she, she confessed to, to accidentally measuring that, that dosage wrong that night? Sort of, you know. She was hysterical, crying. Emotional. Why would they let them converse? They you wouldn't. Know, this makes sense, you know, but I, I, would, I you know, couldn't make out what was going on with her. This does make sense. You're right. It does make sense. But, um, but it, it doesn't help us with these, these five missing pills, does it? Right. It doesn't help us there. So, Elliot, it, again, if you... If you had to speculate, right? Um, what what do you think happened to those five mm. missing pills? I don't need to speculate. Hands in the pocket. You don't need to speculate, and, and why is that? Because I took them. Hey, what's up, Kyoja? You you took those pills. Yes. I took them because I need help sleeping. I have trouble sleeping, and I thought those would work. But then, how did she overdose? If there was missing so, less pills, that doesn't make sense. So you're telling me that you, you took those pills for your own personal use? Yes. And why didn't you bring this up earlier? Because it's embarrassing. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. You, you didn't I don't think buy that, that, that would be a big deal? I really don't no. buy it. It's just very convenient. Oh, I was just taking them. But then how did she OD if she had less pills? It's so stupid. All right. Um, all right, Elliot, uh, one, one last thing here. Um, Tuesday night, okay, after Samantha went to bed, who can account for your time? No one. Well, no if you're one. online. Now, what about the, the people you're, you're gaming with online? I mean, none of those people can account for your time? I was doing random matchmaking. I don't know them. They don't know me. Random matchmaking. There'd be records from there online. All right, Elliot, is there, is there anything else that you would like to add to your statement today? No. Nope. You sure? I've told you everything I know. All right. Well, look at Take the jacket moving. Okay. Well, he really, uh, I told you everything I know, and then... Clear nervousness. I don't know. I'm going to get a call in a minute. Wow. I, I have no clue what to believe at this point. You think Elliot really took those pills himself? No, not a chance. I don't know. All right, we got a few ways we can go with this. Based on her confession, we can charge Samantha. 
that should Still. hold up in court. As for Elliot being the sole person responsible, I'm not too sure we have enough evidence. No, we don't. But if you if you feel he's still hiding something, I can charge him. I'll try to find a way to justify it if that's the route you want to go. Was that our option? We can also charge both of them. Mm. Maybe it was premeditated after all, and the two of them carefully planned this whole thing. Mm. Just got to be sure we have the evidence to back that up. Yeah. We can also let them both go. Oh, what? I don't know. Maybe we don't have enough evidence to make a case against either of them. Jeez. All right, look over everything. <clears throat> I'm going to follow your lead. I'm just... I know that so I could do my digging, but okay? I think I'll just confuse myself if more. If we make the wrong decision here, it's both our asses. Come on, man. All right, give me a call when you're ready to wrap this up. I think he's hot. Like, okay, so we're definitely not going to let him off. We're definitely not going to charge him both. I can't charge... I think... That's like okay. So if I charge Elliot, he he may break and or confess, but it may not hold up long term. If we charge Samantha, I feel Elliot's gonna walk. <laughs> Pardon the pun, and um, you know, uh, there's obviously more evidence on her. I think we should charge them both. To be honest. I mean, he's claiming he's taking pill. I mean, it seems... Yeah, fuck him. Let's charge both of them. Playing games with me. Hey. Okay. Yeah, let's charge both of them. Let me get them in here and give them one last chance to add anything else to their statements for today, and then I'll go ahead and make the arrest. Then one may turn right. on the give other. Give a sec. Let me grab them, and we'll get things back up and running. They, okay. They're not going to put them in the Bye. same room, surely. I mean, it just seemed like one was right down one end of the spectrum, the other was on the other. Let's just go down the middle and see, see what happens. Okay, this is a continuation. It says we've got uh, ending number Jordan three. Jordan and Samantha Williams both in here with me. Uh, the date is still February 19th, trophy. 2022. Um, want to give each of you... One last chance to see if there's anything that either of you want to add to your statements today. So, anything? No. I think we pretty much covered everything. Okay. Um, well, since that's the case, I am officially charging the two of you with the murder of Paulette Williams. What? But why? I, I, I didn't do anything. Is this a joke? No. I didn't do anything. Not at all. I'm not a murderer. I didn't do anything. I, I loved her so much. I, I understand all that. Sometimes. I loved her so much. I understand, I understand all that. I want not return. I would never do anything to her. Elliot, we are going to take you into custody. Okay, and then you'll have a chance to speak to an attorney after that, okay? Okay, Samantha? Samantha, I need you to listen to me. I need you to stand up slowly. I need you to turn around and put your hands behind your back. Okay. I'm a good person. Samantha. I didn't do anything. Samantha, I... Samantha, I need you to stand We're up. Snitch on him. Slowly. He did it. I need you to turn around and put I your hands behind your back. I guess I should have just charged the dude. Ellen, I need you to put your hands out just like this, please. <laughs> Don't move, please. How many kinds of cops you got on you? this one right why all right we've been here long enough well we did get ending help, number okay? three so i'm assuming appreciate it there's a one and two so you take care based on the other options i think it was just solely him case closed
And that's the reality of it. It just ends for you, but for them. All right, that was Case Files, The Death of Paulette Williams. Pretty good, actually. I was surprised. Um, the acting from the main detective was pretty much on point. He was, he was great. Um, the acting from the actors, you know, with, without the uh, physical kind of emotions that get drummed up in such a situation. Um, you know, they were they were okay. They, they played the parts pretty well. I'm now certain it's just the guy. So if I were to play this again, I would just choose him. Unless there's some form of randomizer that comes into play. Not sure. But uh, I've played much worse FMV games, so I'll give it a nod. Not bad. Uh, I'd probably give it about a 7.5 out of 10. Short, um, but simple and effective. Pretty good. What's next here? Okay, you have completed the case. You can start a new game and replay the case as many times as you wish, making different choices will surely take things in different directions. Oh, well, I can still remember the choices I made, so I, I'm going to leave this installed and play it later. It's a quick game. And I'll be able to make those uh, different choices. Yeah, not bad. That was Case Files. Hope you enjoyed. Check you out.